Shalom. All praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, Basham, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. I am Brother Macaulay from the Great Millstone Jamaica camp. Uh, as we do here at Great Millstone, you know, feeding the elect of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, with this knowledge that is written and do all the scriptures foretold of the prophets of full through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahshua the things that are to come, things that already happened, you know, and to declare unto the nations, you know, the truth, you know, what's gonna be the downfall of their society, you know, the ushering of the kingdom of heaven, you know, the uplifting of the elect of the nation of Israel. The ones that stood stiffly for the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai in confessing those names, whether it be in the time of adversity or not. And it's very, very important to know those names. Now, I have a little article here that I just want to go through a little bit. You know, uh, I'm not going to make this lesson too sharp, <clears throat> too, too long, sorry, you know. I'm gonna keep it short as 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 best as possible. So you know it it it, it um and it reads and it's pub it published the sixth of October twenty twenty two and it's from the United Nations website itself, right? It says the World Trade Organization anticipate sharp yeah slowdown in world trade growth in twenty twenty three. No. Let's say you're driving a car and, and something, or let's say a kid or an old lady walk out in the road and you have to make a, sh made a, make a sharp stop. Is that sharp stop, uh, what should I call it, you know? Is, oh, 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 do you see that sharp, sharp stop, yeah? You know, a sharp stop, you know, it, it, it come to a, a quick it, are, it, it happens in a, um, a quick succession. Well, a sharp slowdown is going to happen in a quick succession for, for various reasons, right? One second. No. One second. All right, it says trade growth is expected to lose momentum in the second half of this year and remain subdued in 2023 as the global economy sustained multiple shocks such as ripple effects from the war in ukraine the latest forecast from the world trade organization has revealed this is the un partner agency has cautioned against imposing trade restrictions which would ultimately result in slower growth and lower living standards <laughs> Global merchandise trade volume is estimated to grow 3.5% 3 3 in 2022 or slightly better than the 3.0% anticipated in April. However, volume will slow to 1% next year, a sharp decline from the 3.4% previously estimated. High prices and inflation. He says demand for imports is expected to weaken as growth slows in major economies for different reasons. WTO said in Europe, high energy prices resulting from the Russian invasion of Ukraine will squeeze household spending and raising manufacturing costs. In the United States, monetary policies. Tightening will affect spending in areas where interest rates count, such as housing, motor, motor vehicles, and fixed investment. China also continues to struggle with the big C, outbreak and production distribution, coupled with weak external demands, right? And, you know, I can continue going on, but Lord's willing, I'll, I'll um, hold on. See, but they, this this article is, is is you know they're going down, man. 
you know, trade critical role trade against trade restrictions. Right. I'm I'm gonna put it in um the this the description box, yeah. I can't read it, but you know. But the point is set. You know, WTO anticipates sharp slowdown in world trade growth in 2023. You know, and the first scripture really that came to my mind was uh, Isaiah chapter 32. You know, bear me a second. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. You know, this was the first scripture that came to mind, right? And it reads, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. And, that, and that's, that's, that's the point there. The gathering shall not come. It says, Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bear and girl a cloth upon your lines. Right? So, you know, the vintage is going to fail. The money is going to fail. There is, you know, there is going to be, I have, I have um, a vice note from a trucker in the state basically saying that he would, um, from, from Florida to New York, he would have paid like 1500 US for a round trip. No, it's like $2,500 or something like that for a round trip, you know, to go to New York and back. And he's a trucker. And he was explaining, he was in the, in the voice note, he was speaking about the oil reserve and this and what, whatsoever and Ukraine. And, you know, so basically he's, he's, he's seeing what's happening and he's, gonna, and he's, he's facing it, you know, and... <laughs> This month is October, November, which basically they are saying, you have analysts out there saying that they're going to try to hold off um, certain prices um, for petrol and stuff till after the election and so on and so forth. Who knows, you know, at the end of the day, there is going to be uh, inflation hitting that place. And, you know, the slowdown of trade you know, it's going to make, also, it's, that's going to make the price of goods to go up because scarcity of abundance that will drive um, people to need it more. So the price is going to go up. Hence, you know, the smaller businesses won't be able to survive because, you know, they can't sustain. They're not going to be able to get the goods and they, to pay rents and light bills and stuff, which there's going to be another problem there again where energy is concerned so you can't pay your rent you can't pay your light bill it's going to force you small businesses to close down which is going to take you people into the streets you understand you're going to take you people into the streets and it was all prophesied in in, in the holy scriptures man you know because the heavenly father ain't playing no more man you understand the heavenly father Ain't playing no more. Second Ezra 15 verse 14 says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction dry nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. And this is gonna be this is gonna happen. No. I'm here, I'm living in Jamaica, right? No. Let me tell you what's on the rise in Jamaica. Robbery and thefts. Even more than gun crime, robbery and thefts. Is on the rise because people, yeah, are, 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 well, let me say, a lot of them are just niggas for the most part. A lot of them are niggas, man, just want to be like fucking gremlins. But also, you have people that's been pushed, in, their box been pushed against the wall because they have kids to feed or water, whatever. You understand? And they're gonna do shit, man. We've been saying these things for years. He says, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and in the course of their action, actions shall stand in their power. And you have your prime minister like Andrew Ones here in Jamaica. Basically, you're coming at us now. We see the article, you know. 
the spirit just didn't hit me as yet to get on it. But trust me, it's in the pipeline, man. You understand where you're basically saying that you're going to come against us that speak about doom and gloom for Jamaica. But you tell me if, 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 if trade is going to go down slow, you're telling me that ain't, ain't going to be no doom and gloom? Let me say this, man. Through the spirit and power of your Hababa Shemesha, the people that voted for you, yeah, they're going to take that doom and gloom to your home. You best believe that, man. They're going to take that doom and gloom to your homes because you have, you have made them to think that you will bring peace and prosperity to them. Remember, that's, that's your... That's, that's your logo that's your tag that's your matter prosperity you have deceived them yeah that they would have prosperity remember before you said that you, they're gonna um, they should prepare for bitter medicine they voted you out now you come and say prosperity and they voted you in so they want to be deceived you know which goes back to uh micah 2 verse 11 as a matter of fact let, let me just get that micah 2 verse 11 then we come back to Second Ezra's um, thing there. Um, Micah 2 verse 11 says, If a man walk in the spirit and falls with do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and a strong drink, he shall even be the prophet of this people. Yeah? <laughs> even he shall be the prophet of this people. So, so at the end of the day, you people got what you deserve because, you know, when he said bitter medicine, you didn't want that. No, you know, you know, he said prosperity, which is a deception, which you should not do. That's that's no justification. Tell the people the truth. We are here on the on the forefront, standing among the midst of the people, telling them what's what's about to come. We can be shot, we can be stabbed, we can be stoned. But nevertheless, the Lord gave us a, a job to do, and we went out there, and we've been out there, and we're constantly telling you people what's to come, because guess what? It's the Lord that is bringing it, man. So there shall be sedition among men. Because of trade being slowed down, because of the prices of goods, you know, it's, 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 it's not uh, affordable anymore. Inflation. Hyper is and inflation is about to be on on, on on the rise, man. Yeah, and we we telling you that. Even the trucker was saying that. Even and on the voice note that I have, the trucker was saying, "Hey, after November, going to Christmas, and and let me say this, man, 2023 looking so fucking dark, man. And I and and, and I'm excited, man. Yeah, I'm so fucking excited. Pardon my language. And I know other brothers out there are excited to see what 2023 is gonna be like." And I'm putting it basically around the Passover time. After the Passover, you know, shit's going to, you know, just start to speed up. I speak as a man, but we're excited to see it, man. You understand? We desire that day. We desire for our Lord, your shy to come and redeem us, man. You understand? So back in back in 2nd verse 15, verse 17, it says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's the time that we, we, we're going in now. And as I said before, thefts and robbery is on the rise, even in Germany. Shoplifting is on the rise. It's hard. I saw. I saw this. I, I, well, it's my baby mother that basically was was reading something under that a sixty-seven year old man was a, a, a caught stealing something. I think it was two things to heat, and she was saying they better not lock him up. And I was saying to her, look, you know, the time is hard, man. You know, what job this 67 year old is going to get now, what, whatever, depending on the strength. And maybe if you know somebody that will give him a bucket to sling her. But, but fuck that, man. It's hard, man. A 67 year old should be, shouldn't be fucking working in, 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 in this time, man. Because he's an elderly. He should have set the foundation and, 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 and his kids basically 
support him. Plus what, what he have done, help to turn whatever. But oh no, the system that we're living in does not provide that. And it all, it all goes back to the curses, man. Because we have sinned against our Lord. We have sinned against our power. So therefore he's judging us. And rightly so. Rightly so. You know, we deserve that, man. You know, we deserve that very, very much. And um, 2 Ezra 6, verse 22, it says, And suddenly shall the sown place appear unsown. Every day you hear about another processing plant being burned down, this crop being destroyed, that being destroyed, cattle being slaughtered, this virus, this flu, we're going to get rid of these because of this sickness, is this place. Sown place, yeah, is going to be unsown. Right? It says, The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear it, they shall suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. So there's going to be a drought as well. Which drought's been hitting certain countries, certain areas, and it's hitting it hard, man. Yeah? They are receiving it hard. And it's all prophecies, man. See, you have to put the Lord of Abashim at the forefront because he is the one that's doing it, man. And he is the one that's that, that's going to deliver uh, his elect. Yeah? The Lord is the one that's going to deliver his elect. And rightly so. So that's the reason why we constantly go out there and prophesy, man. So you see, the UN, WTO anticipates sharp slowdown in world trade growth in 2023. And the dollar is going to fail. All currencies are going to fail, man. Bitcoin is going to fail. This crypto is going to fail. You understand? And this is what the scripture said, man. As a matter of fact, let me get that, man. Alright. Proverbs 14, Proverbs 11, verse 4 says, Riches, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from debt. Yeah? So that, that's what we're dealing with, yeah? Righteousness. So you're going to have these analysts like Christopher Green saying, Go oh, buy gold and silver, buy gold and silver, buy gold and silver. Gold and silver won't help you, man. It's true. See, because what, what, one thing you have to understand is that the ignorance of the people, they can't eat gold and silver. They ain't going to be trading anything, man. It's going to be about food. It's going to be, a, it's going to be about food, man. And as you said, this, this that they're doing is by design, man. This famine is by design. You know, these hiking prices is by design. And it's going to catch a lot of you people out there because you wasn't diligent, man. A lot of you, a lot of you are prepping Prepping will help you, you know, overall. But it's good to have some food in your house. But a lot of you um, ain't diligent enough to the point where you will see that something is come that you can buy an extra pound of rice or an extra pound of flour because you're just fucking dark and dumb and stupid and have your head stuck up this shit still so much that you don't know shit, man. Yeah? And we're going to see where arrogance and ignorance are going to get your asses, man. You know, but with that, I hope that this lesson has been any defined one, shallow one.